Uh, a couple of you have uh, left comments on my uh, last videos asking if I'm still doing fasting. Um, and the answer is yes, I'm still doing fasting. Uh, it's kind of just the way I eat now, or the way I don't eat in the morning. Um, before, before I ever go into fasting, I was always thinking, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You've got to have it first thing in the morning before you go to work or before you go to the gym. Now I'm like, breakfast, as long as your break fast, your your first meal of the day is an awesome meal, then oh, it doesn't really matter when it is. Um, so I'm uh, every day I'm waking up at about six in the morning, then I'm in the gym for seven, and then uh, I do a workout for about an hour and a half, then a sauna for 15 minutes afterwards, and after that I go and I head off to work, do my work, uh, do everything until around about one or two. If I can stay until two o'clock, that's better. Uh, I can really feel my fat cells being burnt off. Um, but yeah, I, I usually have my breakfast at around about one, two, or maybe three o'clock if I'm really busy. Uh, if I'm really, really busy, I might not eat until I get home from work. And yeah, in the morning gym sessions, I'm doing, some days I'm doing cardio, some days I'm doing low intensity, some days I'm doing high intensity, other days I'm doing weights. So I'm, I don't follow the belief of um, if you uh, if you do a weight training session, you've got to eat your carbs and calories and protein within 30 minute window of you finishing your exercise. What I would say is that there potentially are bodybuilding benefits to that. However, I suspect that 95, if not more, more, I'd probably say more than 95% of strength that is gained is purely neural adaptations rather than uh, hypertrophy or you know the building of your muscles. Um, if I want to do building muscles, I wouldn't necessarily be doing the gaining strength stuff. I'd be doing slow movements and different reps and sets and all that kind of stuff. But uh, for me, all I really want to do is stuff which I can easily measure. You know, I'm not taking a measuring tape and measuring the size of my biceps to find out, oh, have I got bigger guns today? Because in the end, muscles can get bigger and smaller throughout the day, whether you're glycogen depleted or, you know, if you've had piles of fruit or, uh, you know, fat people can have bigger muscles because they've got more intercellular uh, fat stores. So I'm not really bothered about uh, muscle size or anything like that, but what I am trying to do is always gain a little bit of strength. And I don't necessarily think that consuming within your 30 minute window of finishing your weight training session you have to eat a certain ratio of carbs and protein and all that stuff is not important or not that important potentially it would have benefits however i think the benefits which i'm gaining from not eating and uh, fasting until around about one or two o'clock so that what was that it was about six hours uh, five six hours after the weight session um are far more important uh, or, or far more beneficial and the fact that I'm able to then control what I eat uh, and focus more on just two meals a day rather than you know if, if I had three four five meals a day with each meal it'd be small meals and I'd just be hungry from them um, instead I can just concentrate out on being busy and doing stuff instead of thinking about when do I eat when do I how much do I eat what what little snack can I have with well you know if I was doing five meals a day, I might end up on the first meal have, well, I'll just have an extra banana with that. And then the next meal I might go, oh, I'll just have a coffee with a little bit of sugar in it. Then the next meal I might go, oh, I'll just have this packet, small packet of crisps with that. And then in the day I could end up eating 500 calories of stuff which were just tiny little things to go along with, you know, the meals which I was being very strict on. So for me, uh, eating more often, more frequently, uh, becomes a distraction and a potential for me to just not uh, stay strict to eating uh, when I say eating well I just mean not eating like a child as in I've got such a sweet tooth such a savory tooth uh, I love my sausage rolls I love my crisps I love my chocolates and sweeties and galaxy milky bars and everything like that so for me if I just fast that's cool I can just go right don't need to think about food just get busy on do my work and, uh, and then when I do eat, I can go right, I'm focusing on having lots of fruit, lots of uh, yummy, healthy nuts, seeds, all that stuff in that goes. Um, so yeah, fasting, still happening every day. Um, uh, 
and I don't find it inhibits my weight training in any way whatsoever. In fact, I find now that if I do eat before I go to the gym, it really makes me sluggish uh, in the gym. I'm just like, oh, all the blood's gone from the rest of my body into my stomach to digest my two bananas and an apple or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, for me, eating before the gym, unless it's a deadlift day, deadlift day, I really always want to have something inside me beforehand. But I want to make sure, like deadlift days, I always make sure that's at a weekend so I can go around about one, two o'clock to the gym. And on those days, I'll eat at 10, 11 o'clock so that I've got food in me because deadlifts are just such monster exercises. Like doing them fasted, I get really, really dizzy very quickly. Um, just like too much pressure and not enough something, don't know. But yeah, that's what's happening.